Hey guys, welcome back in. I'm going to give you a quick little tour of how I do my stasis devices. Alright, so all three bases are in this one system. So it's only going to be three bases to visit. Um, you do want to have a fairly empty suit and ship with a good amount of storage in it. Because it's going to fill up really quick. Uh, and also you want to make sure you have all the blueprints needed to unlock the uh, stasis device so make sure those are all unlocked all right and I am gonna pop up some screenshots with the available mods that are here as well as the um, multi-tool and there is a first wave exotic that spawns here so there will also be a picture of that uh, they tend to run um, anywhere between 23 and 41 million and I've been getting three expansion slots for each of them. So um, it's a pretty decent system for that. I will be speeding up some of the stuff here, mainly for travel. I'm just trying to do everything in one shot. But uh, there be, will be moments of, uh, you know, that are sped up in this video, so... I uh, head right out to my first base. Be over here towards the left, if I remember right. And they, I did label them, you know, like Stasis 1, Stasis 2, and Stasis 3. We're gonna go over here and get our circuit boards first. And we're coming into our circuit board farm here, and it tends to be stormy here, so... Be a little careful coming in. The first thing I do when I get here is I'll pick up my paraffinium and I'll put it into my ship. That way, because you can do larger stack sizes than your ship, so I to always toss it in there. And the same thing with my gas, which is nitrogen here. So as you can see, it does fill up pretty quick, so that's why you, you want a good amount of room to do this. Alright, so I always hit those first so I don't forget them. And I'll just go down and get my biodomes. And they're double stacked biodomes, so there's one dome on top of the other. So it's harvesting everything um, from both biodomes each time. And there is a storage container here, so if you do need to make room and stuff, you can always toss some stuff in there. I'm going to try to do this without using that storage container. This is all my plants for the circuit boards. Now if I look at my inventory, you know, that's filling up really quick. So what I do is I make my circuit boards right here. If I come over here, I'm just going to build 16 of everything. Alright, so 16 there. 16. And my 16 circuit boards. Alright, so those are all done. So I'm going to leave here and go right to the next base. Typically, because I already have the bases, you know, they're already mine, I can just teleport to it from here. But I'm gonna actually fly over if like it's your first time here. So I'm gonna speed up the uh, the footage again on my way to the second base. Alright, so flying into our living glass farm. It's a similar setup. Yeah, make these very kind of small Because all you're doing is you're landing here and picking up stuff. You're not really doing much of, uh, much of anything. So I'll do the same process here. I'll take uh, my mineral phosphorus at this one, put it in my ship. And my sulfurine at my ship. And I'll just go down and get all my plants.
I try to make these kind of quick and easy. Because you're going to spend most of your time at the third base, which will be uh, where ionized cobalt and condensed carbon. So you only end up spending a you know a couple minutes at this base also. And one reason I do craft the uh, living glass and circuit board separately is they both take uh, frost crystal. So you don't want to accidentally um, you know make too much of one not be able to make the other. So I'm gonna open down and I'll open up this thing for stasis device. Alright. So over here because you, it costs five glass to make one living glass, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make 80. Um, you're gonna make 80 glass total. And 16 lubricants. Living glass. All right, so those are all done. I'll just move these down to the bottom. All right, so this base is done. Again, you can use storage container zero if you need to make more room. But, uh, I'm gonna head over to the last base. This is where a bulk of this uh, video will take place. So I'm just gonna speed this up again, and I will see you guys over at the third base. Okay, and now we're approaching our last base. It will be for ionized cobalt and condensed carbon. What I'd like to do here, I'm gonna just ignore the uh, oxygen and cobalt for right now. I'm gonna pick up my dioxide, put it in my ship. And then it right on. My ship. As you can see, you, it really starts stacking up, so uh, and what I'll do is I'll take my cobalt. Uh, this I'll just put in my exosuit for now, uh, but what I do want to do is I want to take out only a hundred of this cobalt. And just stick it there for now, and the rest of this I'm just going to stick in my storage container. Just so it's out of the way. Get a hundred of that. I'm gonna grab all these uh, carbon planters. You're gonna need 200 carbon total. This will give you a little over 200. Okay. So what I do is I make two stacks of a hundred. rest in my container. I do this just to keep things organized. So. Alright, now I'm going to go over. Got my 3000 oxygen. I'm going to put right in my exosuit. Alright. And I do the same thing with my oxygen. I will make three stacks of a hundred. What I'm going to do is, I have three refiners here. What I want to do is put a hundred oxygen and a hundred of the carbon and cobalt in it. So, then what I do is this little extra thing of oxygen, I just stick down here because I will need it later. Alright, so your first run, this is what they call a, a, an oxygen loop. So what you're doing is you're going to put in, I always do the carbon on the uh, left hand side, so I'll do a carbon and 100 oxygen. Now you see that's going to give me 250 condensed carbon, takes 45 seconds. So I'm just going to set that going. And I'll do the same thing in the middle. The carbon, oxygen, set that going. And this last one I use for cobalt. Same thing. And set that going. Alright. As you see, it's already like 60% of the way done there. 
because eventually when, when you get these all done you're gonna want to have about nine and a half stacks of condensed carbon and just under five stacks of ionized cobalt when you're done so all right so that one's done already so what you do is you just just take your condensed carbon move it over and put in 250 oxygen it's going to be 37 seconds I'll just set that one going. Do the same thing here. Set that one going. And the same thing with the cobalt. Now you can get three stacks of you know ionized cobalt and condensed carbon this way. So you're just gonna do that. And all you're gonna do is when one of these is done. Uh, take out your product sometimes it'll read a funny number like that and that's okay it's nothing to worry about and then then just run it through again take that out and I'll restart it and the second run is 37 seconds so it goes pretty quick. So I'm just going to speed things up here a little bit. I'm just going to continue doing this. Now at some point you're going to run out of oxygen here. So all you do is take this out, add in another stack of oxygen and just set it going again. And the same thing will happen later on. Uh, in a little bit, you're gonna run out of condensed carbon. All you do is put a new stack of condensed carbon in and let it go again. That's after I think like three or four stacks. So it, it will run out at some point. You just wanna try to keep these two uh, full of whatever they're missing. point like I was saying these are gonna empty out so take out what you can and just put in our whole new stack of both. Now you will run out of oxygen eventually. You just keep going until your oxygen is totally out. And put a new thing of ionized cobalt in here. As well as, you got that small stack of oxygen. Take half of that, put that in here, set that going. And you're gonna do the same thing with this one. It's gonna put a 250 plus that 100 oxygen. And that should give you everything you're going to need. Okay, so for totals you're going to need 4,800 condensed carbon. And you're going to need uh, 2,400 ionized cobalt. I kind of messed up my numbers there for a second, so. Um, but most likely you're gonna be showing up here with some oxygen on you. If you're a little bit short on one of them, just add a little bit of your own oxygen to it and you should be good. We're gonna start making our devices now. Shake your device, crafting steps. All right, now I know I already have the living glass out of the way and the circuit boards. So pretty much all I'm gonna do is go through and make 16 of everything. Make my way down. And I do the that whole tree at once, just so I can keep track of where I am. So I'm just gonna go up and just 16 of everything. Um, 16 of 
18 of these. are done. Go over to more of this. If you have extra stuff in your inventory that can make this stuff, you kind of want to keep track while you're while you're making them. Um, just kind of count as you go. That way you don't end up with a bunch of extra junk in your inventory you don't want. So those are all done. This new crafting tree makes things so much faster. It used to take so long to do this before. Take like 20 minutes to do what I can do in three minutes now. This is a huge quality of life change. Alright, and if I crafted everything correctly, I should be able to make 16 of these. Oops. Oh, yeah, it kicks you out here. So all I do is I just craft them right from here. Oops. And there we go. 16 spaces devices. So it goes pretty quick. Um, and all my numbers lined up. You just want to be a little bit careful when you do the refining. You just want to make sure you end up with uh, 4,800 condensed carbon and 2,400 ionized cobalt. But outside of that, uh, that's the whole thing. Uh, three bases, one system. Uh, it takes like, you know, like 15, 20 minutes to do them all. Oh, and this stuff is here too. Um, if you need anything, uh, there's going to be 16 nip nips there, a couple of albium pearls, and a couple of venom organs. So you can grab that. There is a storage container and an antimatter reactor. So you can make up some of that. There is a chance these refiners might not work for you. Uh, if that does happen, uh, just take all the material, go back to your own base, use your use your refiners over there, or if you want to. Uh, feel free to drop a base um, on any of the other planets in the system. Uh, you know, these two planets here. Um, feel free to just set up a, like, a little refining base of your own um, if you want to. Uh, if you do decide to build on one of these other three planets, the only thing I ask is you stay 2,000 units away. Um, and try not to build anything massive, you know. It, it just it helps with the render on everything and for some reason if you get to one of these bases and there's no power uh what you do is you land interact with the base computer just go into it uh, and cancel and do a reload that should trigger the power if that doesn't work interact with it again go up to the space station and try warping down to the base that you know one of those two little tricks should fix the power um and again all the bases have a storage container so you can throw stuff in there uh they all have storage container zero because it's the easiest one to unlock they all have a teleporter um but i think that's gonna be about it all right thanks guys for uh checking this out and i will see you next time take care